I think I can make that. Hi, my name is L. Come for the sandwiches, stay for the memes. So I saw this online and thought, that looks simple enough. Basically, that's what we'll be making today. Sort of. You you'll see why in a bit. Oh, and before we move on, help me hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button, and you know all the usual things I ask you to do because, yeah, it helps the channel. And that would be pretty sweet. So with that being said, let's try to make a Michelin star sandwich. So, what I started out with were essentially the basic ingredients. That being, eggs and bread. To ensure that the eggs came out correctly, I used one of these, also known as a sous vide. Basically, what it does is that it heats up water, circulates it, and then maintains it at a specific temperature. I know that most of you don't own one, and there's a workaround, but it's a lot more troublesome. I placed the eggs in their little saunas at 63 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. This gives you plenty of time to do whatever else you want, like watch a movie, take a nap, go for a walk, have a workout, I don't know, you do you. As for the workaround, well, you'll need to stand around adjusting the heat of your stove and monitoring the temperature using a thermometer. Not recommended. For those of you who don't know, egg yolks actually cook and solidify at a lower temperature than egg whites. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. Once the eggs were cooked, I removed them from the water and let them cool off for a bit. That way, they would be easier to handle. Next, I cracked them and separated the yolks from the whites. I found that doing this in a bowl of water really helped speed things up by quite a bit. Once that's done, I covered them and prepared the bread. All I did was to trim off the edges and try to make them look as symmetrical as possible. Needless to say, if you're intending to fit three yolks into the sandwich, well, the final slices will have to be big enough. Next, I evenly spread out some butter over one side of all the slices. It helps if you can get the butter to be as soft as possible. I also finely chopped some chives for garnish later. I placed three yolks on the buttered side of the slices, and then placed them in a pan over medium heat to crispen up. The issue I ran into here was that the yolks started to droop towards one side, and flipping the entire sandwich in a pan was actually very tricky. It would have helped if I had a pellet knife somewhere, but I couldn't find one. I topped off the sandwich with some chives, a sprinkle of salt, and some Tsar caviar. Tsar caviar is essentially cheap fake caviar. They aren't actually any real fish eggs. Rather, it's actually spherified fish broth made to look like caviar. The reason I'm using this is because I'm not about to fork out a few hundred bucks for a tin of the real stuff. So instead, I'm just gonna spoon these. Okay, time to taste. Texturally, it's pretty good. The egg was gooey and smooth, and the bread was nice and crispy. Unfortunately, that's basically all there was to it. It just tasted of yolk and bread. These are caviar, offered close to no flavour whatsoever, and even adding extra salt didn't help much. I guess that's what happens when you use the cheap stuff. Oh, and it was super messy to eat. This was unacceptable. I felt that this had potential, but it had to be tweaked because we're not using real caviar. Three days later. After a bit of ideation, I figured out a better solution. I cooked the eggs the same way as before, but made some adjustments to everything else. Let's start with the butter. What I did was to make a compound butter by adding salt and chopped chives into it and then letting it sit for a bit. This should help impart a bit more flavour. I also made some tare by mixing soy, mirin, dashi and some water and then heating it up for a bit. Once the eggs were cooked, I separated the yolks and then dabbed on some tare to give them a bit more flavour. As for the bread, well, I felt that there was just a bit too much wastage if I used fancy brioche. So, instead, I went for the cheap supermarket loaf. This also made it easier to cut into rectangles because the slices were essentially square. I coated one side of the bread with the compound butter and, to save me the trouble, I toasted them in the toaster first. While they were toasting, I cut some smoked salmon into the same dimensions as the bread. 
Once that was done, it was time for assembly once again. A layer of bread, toasted side down of course, two slices of smoked salmon, three egg yolks, the next layer of bread, some salt, a quenelle of creme fraiche for extra tang, finish it off with some black pepper and a few sprigs of dill. And wham bam thank you ma'am, we have a fancy looking sandwich that tasted even better. It's still super messy to eat, so I recommend using a fork and knife if required. And there you have it, how to make a Michelin star inspired sandwich from the comfort of your own home, your own kitchen, your friend's kitchen, your neighbor's kitchen, wherever you're making it, that's how you do it. I know that the final version isn't exactly the same as the Michelin star sandwich, but are you really gonna buy real caviar just to make this? And if you are, please send some my way because I could really use some. But for everyone else, myself included, I find that what we ended up with is a lot more achievable, a lot cheaper, and a lot tastier as compared to using cheap caviar. But that's it for today my friends, I'll see you all next week for a video just like this. In the meantime, if you want to follow me on my socials, links to everything can be found in the description. Also, if you're gonna give this a try or already have given this a try, let me know how this went in the comments down below. Or you can just say hi or hello or whatever else you wanna say because, well, it helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps more people find my videos. So yeah, go type something there and press enter or click send, whichever, whichever it is. Yeah, but for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Shh.